Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening to y'all. How y'all doing tonight on a rainy Sunday here in Louisiana? I'm glad it is kind of raining to knock some of this heat out the way. How y'all doing tonight? I am Mike D, a.k.a. DDE80, a.k.a. Mr. Hennessy, a.k.a. 13th Wonder. I appreciate y'all coming through. I appreciate y'all listening to me over on the airwaves. I have a point of view I want to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen. And I know a lot of y'all are watching the Saints game, so I'm not going to be long with that. Hopefully the Saints will go ahead on and end their preseason with a victory against the Texans. So we're going to see what, what CJ does against the Saints defense tonight. I'm hoping that the Saints just go ahead on and just go in and just put an exclamation point on them boys and get those boys out of there and get ready for the regular season. Yeah, I'm happy about the Houston Astros. <laughs> I'm happy that they're winning. I'm happy that they're now one. They've won like two straight. I'm happy for the Astros because I almost gave up on them. But it looks like they're going to try to push into the playoffs and see what they can do there. Hopefully they can get their World Series, you know, pushed back to where they can get back to the World Series and compete for another one. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to give a shout out to all of the Point Place players that are in the mix. Appreciate the whole fam. Love you, fam. Also, a shout out to my family. Also, a shout out to everybody's family. And happy birthday to my sister today. Today's her birthday. God bless my sister. I want to talk about, I already talked about the Houston Astros. I know that college football is back and I was supposed to give my input on that and I wasn't able to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till next weekend and do my college football takes and picks and who I think can still do it. I still think LSU could be one of the top four, and I still think that Michigan State could be in the top 25. Those are my two picks. I'm not worrying about Clemson. I'm not worried about Georgia. I'm not worrying about TCU. I'm not worried about Michigan. All I want to see is LSU and Michigan do their thing. But I will be reporting and will be talking about the other college football teams as well. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I was supposed to give you the rundown on the AEW pay-per-view, but I forgot that the pay-per-view came on earlier today. And excuse the noise outside because in the house it's kind of noisy. That's why I'm outside because of the, as you know, when it gets night, you hear the birds chirping and all the noise. Uh, but the AEW pay-per-view came on earlier, and I will give you the results to them, to each match. Um, the first match was the uh, was the all out, you know. First match was the match before the actual pay per view, um, and it's also sprinkling outside as well. And I gotta get prepared to go hit my other job in about two hours. So yeah, just bear with me for a little while, y'all. Just for about a good 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, I want to talk about the pay per view. Uh, MJF and Adam Cole did become the tag team champions. I am proud to hear that they did do that. They accomplished that, what they were set out to do as a tag team. I will get into the main event later. Now, no disrespect to Ozzy Open. They're great. They're a good tag team. But at this time, MJF and Adam Cole are on a, on a level right now to where they could be you know, above it all. And they sat out and done it. They didn't beat FTR, but they beat the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. So now they're the, the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. And it's good to see Adam Cole have another Ring of Honor title. Also, you had Hook versus Jack Perry. And I'm going to get more into Jack Perry a little later because of something that I heard that happened. And I'm going to address that in a minute. Hook beat Jack Perry. Jack Perry with the heel persona. Jungle Boy Jack Perry. 
uh, and they said that the next following, I think it was like, I don't know if it was the next match or the match after that, him and CM Punk got into an altercation to where they had to get him out of there. I don't know if he's going to get sent home, but what I'm trying to figure out is what is going on? Why people do not like CM Punk? We know that the elite wanted to fight CM Punk. He wanted to fight Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. I don't know what's going on. Is it Punk? Is is Punk saying things out of pocket to these guys or what? We heard the rumor that on Collision he's sending wrestlers home. So what is going on with CM Punk at AEW? I guarantee you we'll find out more about that during the dirt sheets in the next couple of days. Ladies and gentlemen, Soraya, who was known as Paige, she became the AEW Tag Team Champion at the of defense of her tag team partner, her group partner, Tony Storm. It looks like the social outcasts, whatever they call themselves, look like they're about to have a couple of dissension moments, which is they're probably going to end up breaking them up. But I am I am glad that Paige, which I know her as Paige, but Soraya has finally got the big one. It took her a long time to get it, and AEW gave her the rocket, and she just fell on there and just let them take, let her take them to the top, and that's exactly what she did. Congratulations to Paige for winning the title. Also, the match, the, you know, the match with the, the Blackpool. And Orange Cassidy and the best friends. It's a great match, you know. But in the end, Orange Cassidy won. And now Orange Cassidy wants to go up against John Moxley. And I'm here to tell you, John Moxley is a different atmosphere guy. You know, and, and you got to see that that they can beat him. And, and I forgot to tell you, it was a, a spring stampede match that they just uploaded on the AEW game, you know, and Eddie Kingston as well, and Orange Cassidy, they just beat the Blackpool Comeback Club, you know. I think that you're gonna see a lot from them because you got Santana and Ortiz were also in the match and they lost. So we're gonna see what happens with them as well because I, I heard a rumor that they're not AEW is not happy with them as well. We'll have to see what happens with that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, also, the Young Bucks went up against FTR. Right now, FTR is one of the best tag teams in the business. There's nobody beating FTR right now. FTR is just too good right now. Despite the situation that happened with Dash Wheeler, you know, uh, Cash Wheeler, however you say his name, but, uh, you know, the situation is what it is, and I'm happy for them because they have accomplished a lot, and FTR is going to be there for a while. So you're going to have to get used to seeing those guys winning tag team titles and winning situations like that to try to get them through. So shout out to FTR and the Young Bucks for putting on a five-star match because they, every time they get in the ring and compete, they're doing a five-star match, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to those boys. Shout out to them, the whole, whole team of FTR and the Young Bucks for putting on a great match. Also, Will Ospreay. He beat Chris Jericho. Jericho's job now is to make young talent better. I don't think Chris Jericho is going to win another world title in AEW. I, I just don't think that. I think Jericho now is for it to build up the young talent. Of course, he's going to get wins here or there, but I think that they want Jericho to be the guy that just go in there now and just do what he needs to do for the talent. He needs to look out for the talent. That's exactly why they did that. And I think it's going to be a story with him and Sammy because of what happened at the end of the match when he lost 
to Osprey. He ended up shrugging off Sammy Guevara. And I think that's going to lead to a match between mentor versus teacher. I mean, student against teacher, I'm sorry. And I think that the teacher's going to lose. And the teacher is Chris Jericho. He's not here for that anymore. Also, that man called Sting. Oh, my God. Him and Darby once again does it. They beat Christian Cage and Swerve. I thought it was going to be, you know, Brian Cage, but it was just Christian and Swerve against Sting and Darby. Oh, my God. The Sting man still is at it. I told you guys, he's going to be missed when he decides to retire. Sting still got it. Sting still at it. I like the way they use him. You know, I'm just saying, I like the way that they use him. Also, the Bullet Club, which is the Bullet Club goal, Juice Robinson, Jay White, and Tanasha, they beat Hangman Page, Kenny Omega, and Coda. You know, and, and, and you got you to gotta realize when I say these things because, you know, Things like this is exactly why I say, God, dog, you know, this is good what it is. Hangman Page was, you know, on top of the world, man, until he had that CM Punk situation. It looks like he didn't cool down some. Him and Kenny Omega. You know, I think they should, they should go up against, you know, FTR or go up against MJF and um, Adam Cole. Who knows what might happen in that match with those guys, if they ever have it. But congratulations to the Bullet Club Gold, Juice Robinson and Jay White, because those guys are also going to become, believe me or not when I tell you this, they will be AEW Tag Team Champions sooner or later. Because those both, both of those guys have the it in the business, you know. And that's what I like about them. And also... The match for the trios tag team titles. The six man tag team titles in AEW. By the way, WWE needs to copy that and make some six man tag team titles in WWE. And I know just the team for the Brawling Brutes now because the New Day only has two members. Big E's not back from injury. But the Brawling Brutes are the Judgment Day. Those, it would have been the bloodline, but you know the bloodline is broken up. I'm just saying, WWE, look out and make that happen. Make that happen, WWE. Make some more titles. Make the trios tag team titles in WWE. But shout out to the, the participants, the House of Black, which was, you know, you know, Malachi Black and Brody King and Buddy Matthews. You know, they lost to Billy Gunn and the Acclaim. Now, everybody thought that Billy Gunn was going to pull a swerve because he had took his boots off the last time they fought these guys. He had took his boots off and just left out the ring because he was, he was teed off about what happened. Well, now, you see, now they come back and they actually win the match. They actually win, excuse me, y'all. They actually win the title. So shout out to the Acclaim because I think that the Acclaim, I don't know how many tag teams AFW has done it, but besides the Young Bucks, I think the Acclaim is the only, they're the only teams that win the tag and the, the trios titles. I have to look and see. I, I had that information for you guys. Uh in the future, because I think they're the only two teams that did that. Uh, we also, and, I, and we also look at MJF versus Adam Cole. Well, this was the main event. And of course, MJA and Adam Cole put on a bar, a bar burner, a five-star match. But in the end, it was a roll up by your boy, 
MJF to beat Adam Cole. And they went home with the Kane and Daniel Bryan hug it out moment. So all, all out, all elite pay-per-view was great. You know, Wembley Stadium, they put butts in seats. They were able to have a great time. And that's all what, what wrestling is about, folks. Sports is all about you having a good time. You, you can cheer and boo. You can cheer for your home team, boo for the visiting team, or, or cheer for the visitor and boo the home team, you know. And that's not a good look for your home team to be getting booed. But in wrestling, you can cheer for the wrestler that you think is the good guy or the bad guy or even the in-between guy. And I'm just telling you all that it was a great pay-per-view from what I saw, from what I seen and from what I heard. It was a great pay-per-view. Now I'll find out what's the next move now coming up starting Wednesday. Or MJF and Adam Cole going to be keeping the Ring of Honor title? What's going to happen now with Darby when he goes up against Luchasaurus? Because he's the next line for the TNT title against Luchasaurus. What about the fallout between CM Punk and Jungle Boy Jack Perry? Is Jungle Boy Jack Perry the next guy in line to go up against the real champion in CM Punk? What's going to happen now that the House of Black are no longer the trio tag team champions? What's going to happen now between the bullet, between the Blackpool Club and, you know, the best friends? What's going to happen with the Bullet Club? What are they up to now? What's going to happen with all these guys? You know, now the chapter now starts over now because you have a new chapter or you could have a continuous champ chapter. It really doesn't matter as long as you see what happens. And I'll tell you right now, it's going to be a good thing because I believe that the guys are going to now turn up just a little bit more now to get themselves together for the next move, which is the next Wednesday night coming up. So with that being said, I want to tell everybody, tomorrow we'll be talking about more sports. We know that preseason ends tonight after the Saints play against the Titans. I know most of you guys right now are probably watching the game. So, go Saints. <laughs> um, but other than that, I'm going to end this, and I'll be back with you in the morning. You guys have a good night. Have a good evening. Don't forget to say your prayers. Don't forget to call on God. And ask God to help you with whatever you got going on. Have a good night.